You don't have 15K, 10K, or even 5K to spend on a car, but you still want something fun that's also reliable. Welcome to the video. I'm Chris at Automotivate, and I'm here every week to discuss everything automotive. So subscribe to stay tuned. These cars aren't going to break any records and may not even beat many cars in a race, stock at least. But for the low budget, they do pretty well. Here are seven cheap sports cars you daily drive under 3K. 1990s Lexus SC300. The Lexus SC300 was built with a lot of care and with a focus on reliability. Equipped with a 2JZ EGE motor, similar to the Supra's 2JZ GTE motor, which is turboed instead of non turboed, is a 3.0 straight six engine, which is one of the most well balanced engines. The SC Coupe is a beautiful, stellar car that will make you stand out. On top of all that, this is a 90s car that still looks a bit modern with its sleek styling cues and leather interior. These motors have a huge availability for aftermarket parts, so if you're a car enthusiast, this is a great selection. Since we're discussing reliability, I'll go through a few of the most common issues. The dashboard LEDs may have issues, heating and AC may fail, and there may be a check engine light due to a simple EVAP system failure, and that may be due to just a loose gas cap. So if you're having this issue, I do place a gas cap and the light should go away soon after. And if not, unplug the battery for 10 minutes and plug it back in. If that's not the issue, it may be something within the tank. It's still safe to drive, however. 1990s Honda CRX. I'd say this is one of the most interesting hatches out in the market. It's compact, affordable, liable, and a sports car. Since it is light, nimble and has precise steering, it is considered one. Literally, the car weighs only 1,800 pounds, but that's also the downfall. Being so light, it doesn't have much protection from impacts. Overall, the CRX is a pretty solid car. Now, time for the issues. Oil leaking due to valve cover failure, which is easy to replace and won't prevent the car from being reliable unless you don't keep the oil topped off. Leaking coolant, which is also common for older cars. However, that's a bit more rare. 2004 Volkswagen Golf GTI. This car can be reliable if it has been maintained, so service records are required. Anyways, for the time, this was the hottest of the hatches, and it can still keep its own with many modern day hatchbacks. The Golf is probably one of the best looking hatches and better looking than most modern ones too. And that's in my opinion. Besides the aesthetics, it's a solid fast car and there's a huge fan base around these cars. The issues. In high mileage automatic transmissions, they will fail due to cheap components that aren't meant to last. I highly recommend getting a manual because those are nearly bulletproof. The EVAP system has issues. Once again, probably the same gas cap issue is very very common in almost all cars bad ground causing some electrical issues and a dirty map sensor however those aren't terrible issues the one issue you do want to look for is excessive oil leaking which does happen but not as common be sure you keep the oil topped off in a mazda miata it's 90s miata it is one of those cars that can fit in so many categories for car lovers it's small, reliable, good gas mileage, sporty, exotic looking, and fun. It is the perfect car to drive around tight, windy roads and not feel like you're about to fall off the mountain. The number of aftermarket parts for this car are enormous. It is hard to not put the Miata in the majority of my videos. However, with all these pros also come some cons. The car is extremely small. If you're any taller than me, I'm 5'8", you may have issues fitting in the car. The soft top is a bit noisy while driving and the cargo space is very limited. This is where you put your third passenger. It won't be comfortable. The issues. Ticking noise from the valves are pretty typical in the NA Miata and NB. The clutch slave cylinder may leak in manuals and the valve cover gasket may also leak. Once again, these issues are more common for older cars because things go out with age. Early 2000s Nissan Sentra SER. You may not believe me, but the Sentra was surprisingly more reliable than you think. Lasting over 200,000 miles, the SER is a sports model. Now, the Sentra is not 
a pretty car. It isn't the nicest car, but for the price, it is a great sporty car. The funny part is that it can get a 6.90060, and as odd as it sounds, these cars are going to become a rarity. So perhaps buy one now, save it, and wait for the market price for this car to inflate. The issues. They aren't terrible at all, but as I mentioned, the engine does last for a very, very long time. However, it has had a camshaft sensor recall and a fuel pump recall. Be sure they are replaced. It can have a failed map sensor, which is again typical, catalytic converter failure causing a check engine light, and finally, if there is a weak battery, the transmission will enter a fail safe mode. So be sure you keep those batteries charged. 1993 Camaro Z28. Yes, you can grab yourself a Chevy LT1 V8 under 3K. For the early 90s, this car was a beast, and in regard to horsepower, it has more than my new edge Mustang GT. For a 3K, you can find a Z28 model. It may not have perfect paint, but with a quick search, I found two Z28s with under 150,000 miles in our price range, and I did not look all that long. Now, these cars are notorious for anti-theft system going out of whack due to the chip in the key failing. So a simple bypass will fix this issue. Simple, look it up on YouTube. It shouldn't be too hard. Power windows going out, which is also a common issue. And along with that, the door locks may also go out. And I just replaced my actuators and my Mustang. Check out the card above to see that video. The T-top and the T-top models leaks and the rear transmission mounts fell. And I wonder why. It's not like it's a rear wheel drive car pushing a decent amount of power. 2005 Volkswagen Jetta TDI. This car can get above 40 miles per gallon, as many owners reported. And it will see above 250,000 miles. The gas engines from 2003 to 2013 has an issue with oil consumption. So if you do decide to grab a gas powered Volkswagen or Audi between those years, keep the oil topped off. Anyways, this four cylinder turbo diesel isn't the average sports car but it gets the job done with some outstanding reliability. For 2005, the car does look a bit outdated, but personally, I dig it. The main issues in these cars are camshaft wear, so be sure the timing belt has been done. Ask what oil they use, and if they use 5W30 for a while, expect a lot of issues in the future. If the car hasn't been driven much, also expect leaking from the turbo sills, but with that all said, if the car is taken care of with the proper oil and driven the way it should be, it will be okay. All the way from 4 cylinders to V8s, I have you covered. All should last a very long time and give you a nice, sporty, agile feel to them. Depending what exactly you want, there should be an option on this list that you would like. Go ahead and comment below what you would pick and why. Be sure to press that like button if this helped you out, subscribe, and press the notification bell. By now, two videos should be popping up. If you have the time, please check one out. This is Crystal Automotive. Always appreciate one another. I'll see you next time.